Hello, and thank you for joining me today. In this video, we'll be covering the Bar Cloud Reporting System. We'll discuss the various categories, make a custom report, explain how to filter the data, and introduce the report designer. Accessing the reports is done through the Reports icon on the main navigation ribbon. Our reporting system is separated out into several categories. Each category has unique fields which are available, related to the different files, functions, or transactions. Receipts for transactions will be in the transaction histories, like receive history or move history. Report categories for specific files will be titled the same as the files, like person, customer, stock item, and asset. We've populated several of the categories with the most commonly used reports, and a user can simply double click on a report to run it. Additionally, we've also left the reporting system open so that users are able to create their own reports within any of the categories. Now, to create a new report, we'll use the Report Wizard, which is launched by pressing the Add button. On the first screen here, we're asked to select a category and provide a name for the report. It is important to select everything that is needed on this screen, as additional data fields cannot be added once the report is finished. Now I'm just going to go through here, and I'm going to select a couple different extra fields that we can have in our specialized report. Now that I have my categories selected, we can also set the order by selecting them and then moving them up and down. The order that they appear from top to bottom is the order that they'll appear in the report from left to right. Once we have this set how we want it, we're going to move on to the next screen. Our third screen here lets us choose how the system is going to group the data. The choices here will always be the same as the data fields we selected in the previous screen. Now, in this example, I'm going to group by location ID so that I can get a report that has all of my inventory broken out by location. The final step in the wizard here is to choose the page orientation and whether or not to use your logo and address. For any reports with six or more fields, we highly recommend using the landscape orientation. Now that we have created our report, we'll go into its category and select from the right hand side, down at the bottom, the newest report that we've made. Now users can either view the report by pressing the preview or they can simply double click the name to open it. Here in the preview window we're able to filter the report down based on any of the data that's included in the report, including, if there were any here, any of the dates or timestamps Additionally, the report can also be sorted by any of the fields in here. Once we have the report filtered and sorted as we needed, we can easily print it, save it as a variety of different formats, including the CSV and DIR files, or we can direct email it out, and this will send it out as a PDF. We simply need to input the email addresses separated by a comma, and then send. For those users who want or need to improve the design or layout of their custom reports, we have the designer. Uh, the designer is accessed by pressing the edit button here on the right hand side of the screen. From here inside the designer, we can do things like change the fonts, the spacings, the alignments, add logos, static text, and even panels for drawing and tools for better visual organization. There are some additional advanced functions available in here, but those will be discussed in a different video. After making any changes, make sure to save the report before closing. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again in future videos.